For a girl child to enjoy the universal right to education, she requires more than just a classroom, a desk and books. She also needs sanitary towels. This is not a luxury. Actually, as far as we speak of basic needs like bread, unga, sugar, sanitary pads is a basic need for girls. For Mama Fatuma Mohammed, who makes snacks for sale at Maweni village in Voi County, the proposed 16% VAT on sanitary towels will be too much for her to bear. She has two daughters in different secondary schools, and just recently she received a phone call from one of them. Juzi kimpigia simu, yuko mbali, yuko kiambu, na mi niko voi. Sasa na shindwa ni tamtumani ya vipi. Hapa meniambia mechukwa kwa mwenza hake. Hasa inabidi saizi ni kirudi, alikuwa half time juzi. Kirudi ni mpe, hainda mlipi mwenza hake. Thanks to sisterhood, schools like Fatuma's daughters can make it through the term. We girls don't like to see fellow girls suffering. So we have a brown girls made that. But girls can only help each other to a certain limit. It's an open secret that for many underprivileged girls in Kenya, no pads means no school. A UNICEF survey indicates that one in ten school girls in Africa miss classes or drop out completely due to menstruation. Mustiana kipoteza siku tano kwa mwezi, kwa tamuzima siku kuminatano, kwa muhula kwa kwa mwaka mzima msichana amepoteza 45 days ambayo ni kama mwezi mzima wa kusoma na siku 15 I'm a bit sad that some people like let's say like Chukana or Mandera they don't have such things there and they are forced to use like tambara tissue cotton something like that it's so sad because sometimes they are not concentrating in class and this may lead them to fail in the exam that is a challenge that we cannot afford. The Kenya women parliamentarians were the ones who made those proposals to Treasury in the ninth parliament to have it zero rated. The government further introduced a budgetary allocation to sanitary towels for schoolgirls. This financial year, 299 million shillings has been set aside to cater for some 600,000 schoolgirls. With this development, school enrollment among girls went up significantly as did performance, according to education experts. Introducing VAT on this critical component in a girl's education, however, will negate these gains. But I think it's unforgivable to be able to transfer a problem and enhance a problem to the extent that you have been zero rating and still girls cannot be able to access that particular uh, facility. Now you want to make it a uh, tax, I think that is unacceptable. <laughs> The protests against the reintroduction of the VAT bill already bore some fruit, albeit minimal, according to the Consumer Federation of Kenya. The Jubilee Wing of Parliament agreed to exclude maize flour and bread from the list of items that are said to be standard rated if the bill becomes low. But what about sanitary towels? I think we see some sort of irony here, that you can afford to call a free primary education or free secondary education, but at the same time, you impose tax on such an essential commodity such as the sanitary uh, pads. And at the same time, you're also saying that you are uh, giving free laptops. Whether Parliament will further amend the bill to allow for zero rating of sanitary towels for the sake of the underprivileged schoolgirls remain to be seen. Sylvia Chabet, Citizen Weekend.